Hey everybody, I'm Benjamin. And I'm Swetha. And this is Food Near Me. We're here to showcase unique dining experiences that are here in Kansas City. And today we're gonna to be checking out barbecue, one of the staples of Kansas City. Who's on the list today? We're going to Woodyard Barbecue first, then we're gonna stop at BB's, and then we're gonna end at Heart Barbecue tomorrow on this beautiful, beautiful weekend here in Kansas City. I'm excited, let's I'm go check them out. I'm excited too, yeah, let's do it. Uh, we are off to Woodyard. Really excited about this one. They are, I think they started off uh, selling wood and eventually led into barbecue. So I'm really excited about it. There's only a handful left in KC that are still using wood to smoke their barbecue. Yeah, I'm excited to see kind of how they do things because with barbecue restaurants, you don't really see behind the scenes, but this will be really cool to kind of see what kind of wood they use and how they, their whole process. Absolutely. Burt and Tacos, how does that sound? Should we that open a Burt and Taco restaurant? See, we're focused on barbecue. We're already talking about tacos. <laughs> like, this is gonna be a great series. I agree. What sets you apart from all the other barbecue places here in Kansas City? Well, we started out as a wood company, and we still are a wood company. And it, it's a tradition, it's a family tradition. And, you know, my earliest memories are my dad out in, the, out in the driveway, cooking, smoking, and my brothers all did it. So I just grew up with it, it's, it's, it's in our DNA. It's just a process that you've got to, you don't harness it, you have to, coexist with it. And you guys are only using wood, Mark? You're not supplementing with gas or anything? No, no, no such luxury. I say you can't walk away from these cookers. They can go from zero to cremate in record time. So would you consider barbecue an art or a science? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a bit of both, I imagine. Uh, but there's no substitute for experience. You learn from your steaks. So Ben, we skipped breakfast today, didn't we? Absolutely, and I think it was a good choice. I think so too. Shall Man, I'm we? I'm starving. Let's jump in. Ready? Let's Three, do this. two. Wow. It's got a very unique taste to it. Ten out of ten on the ribs. Nice. Really good. Let's go in for the brisket. Brisket. And so this is just perfect. It's still moist, it's juicy, it's not so dried out. So tender. And we haven't even added the barbecue sauce so yet. So tender. They're just looking at me. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I taste a lot of deliciousness. This is great. I have to say the burnt ends, they taste really unique. It's not as sweet as most burnt ends are, and I really like that. The brisket for me was, was really good. All right, well, I guess we're going to our next stop now, right? All right, where are we heading next? BB's. Let's go. BB's Lawn Side. Awesome. We're going to BB's Lawn Side. I am so excited to go there. They had the best reviews I've ever seen, and I'm really excited to try something new. Not only are they known for their barbecue, but they're also known for their live music. They have live music I every night of the week. It's great. Even um, on weekdays? I've, even on weekdays. Well, like, it's such an amazing experience, so I'm really excited oh, about that's, this one. That's awesome. All right, Jimmy, thanks again for having us out, man. We just, what's your favorite barbecue on the menu? What's your favorite item? Uh, but burn ends by far and away my favorite thing on the menu. Definitely goes back to the pit, 60-year-old um, granite stone pit, only one like it in the city. Middle and youngest brother have both been working here for about 25 years. Literally been practicing something that long. They better be good at it by now or I'd be kind of disappointed. So how did you guys get started? So uh, the original owner started in 1990 and he was a big uh, blues fan. And of course he loved barbecue. And uh, as you're probably gonna see here, the kitchen didn't get any bigger, but we're a lot busier. So uh, it's pretty neat though, really cool to be a part of. We noticed a lot of fruity flavors, Cajun vibes. How did that get started here? Cause that's very different from a lot of other barbecue places here in Kansas City. And we started with just, you know, red beans and rice and the gumbo, and then it kind of just kept going to where we had the boudin balls and the, now we have a Cajun Sunday and we've got fish from traveling around and, and eating our way through different areas looking at bands and stuff, so. 
Oh, awesome. That's my like Cajun God. Sunday. We thought you were Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ah. Wow. Okay, initial thoughts, Ben. What do you think about this? This is awesome. You get like, a lot of food for these not jars that much are money. So cool. I know. Like, look at this guy. So this is a Louisiana themed barbecue place. A lot of the things that you'll find here are going to be spice like Louisiana kitchen would be. I'm still looking at those jars, but those are so cool. I know. So these are called the barbecue sundaes. These so are they're a lot, a lot bigger, bigger here, yeah. That's what the first thing I noticed was like these ribs are a lot bigger. Gotta, Coming pre sauce this time though. These have more of a barbecue flavor than the last ones did. Definitely messier. Mm -hmm. A lot of these barbecue places, they're making their own sausage. So they're putting the recipe, they're creating the recipe, and they're stuffing the sausage with whatever they want. That sausage was really good. Yeah, that's a pretty solid bite. That was good. Better than I would have done. I want you to take a try. <laughs> All right, we got beans, slaw, and then looks like pulled pork on the top. And a pickle. Let's see what we can pull off here without losing everything. I don't think I'm going to be able to dig down, but we'll get some of this pulled pork. Like, I definitely get a more lean taste with this I one. I agree. Um, but it helps complement the flavor palette. Like, yeah. it's not overbearing by like the fat content and the brisket. It's, it's really good. All right, so what would you think? Amazing. I think it's not even on the same category as the last place. Like, they use a lot more fruits here, mm -hmm. and they're less smoky yeah. as Woodyard was. Definitely. Yeah. Like, I, overall, it's just a great experience. You yeah. know, to me, I keep going back to experience. I want to try something new and seeing barbecue in a jar and bringing out the BB's King combo mm -hmm. plate. Like. So much food, such good portions, and really reasonably priced, so. I mean, I don't know, I really liked everything. <laughs> These jars are amazing. We got so excited, we forgot to talk about the burnt end. And apparently, they're amazing. So, this burnt end is probably one of the best ones I've had at KC, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't leave you any, I'm sorry. That's okay, <laughs> I'm stuffed. All right, day two on this beautiful Saturday, we are headed to one of your favorite spots, and you know the owner, right? Yep, Tyler Harp with Harp Barbecue. Okay, tell me more about him. I have known Tyler for a few years now. Um, he makes amazing barbecue, simply put. Um, he does more Texas-style barbecue, so his brisket, he cuts it a little bit thicker than what you traditionally see in Kansas City. Um, he's using wood, he's smoking only with wood, no supplemented gas. And the guy just has such an amazing passion for barbecue. I can't wait for you to meet him. I'm I'm super excited to meet him. And what is better than beer and barbecue at 9 a.m.? Exactly. On a 69 degree day. Perfect day. Yes. So I can't wait to eat, eat it. Eat Let's it. go try it. Try it. <laughs> eat it. Try it. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us here. Ben has spoken so highly of you, so how did you get started in this? Uh, well, I grew up on the competition scene. My dad and his brother, a couple of their buddies, they competed. And when I got off work, uh, instead of going out with my coworkers and stuff, I would go home and cook. And it was just kind of something that kind of kept me focused. Now here we are selling barbecue. <laughs> That's amazing, Tyler. What is Texas barbecue and what makes you different than other barbecue in Kansas City? Well, I only wanted to use wood, a handful of ingredients, never more than like three to four ingredients in one protein. Trying to, you know, just elevate the culture of Kansas City barbecue is always one of my goals. So we're striving with that every day and we'll never be content, but we just want to keep pushing forward. So how do you access your barbecue? So yeah, we're at Crane every Saturday. As it warms up, we're going to be doing a lot of different events over the, around the city. People like reach out to me, they're like, it's so cool to drive over there and go to the brewery and come back in the barrel room. And you know, I'm thankful for Michael and Chris and everything um, that they've given me the opportunity to do this and the whole entire staff, everybody involved with Crane. Like I said, we're fortunate to, to be with Crane and they've taken good care of us. If there's one thing that you could tell people about barbecue, what do you want people to know? You know, we were passionate about cooking with wood and there's just so much work that goes into that, so much labor, uh, and that's kind of why we go slow. We're inspired by the people we're around uh, that, that keep pushing us forward, so. What's the best thing on the menu? What do we need to order today? Uh, I'm really proud of our brisket. Uh, the pork belly burn ends do real well. But yeah, so I think our ribs have hit an insane level of popularity. I'm not sure why or when. It was like a few years or a few weeks ago, people just started ordering crazy amounts of ribs. So 
our goal and our standards isn't somebody else's standards. Our standards are to get better every single week, and it will be every, you know, once we have a brick and mortar, it'll be to get better every single day. So, thank you, Tyler. Yeah, thank you, Tyler. Yeah, thank it. you. Yeah. You're thank a hustler, you dude. <laughs>I told you all about Heart Barbecue. I mean, look at this plate. It looks beautiful. Jump in, Swetha. I'll let you take the first bite. Mm. I'm gonna jump in on one of these ribs. Mm. Wow. And look at these ribs. This is what I was talking about yesterday with the bite mark. It's juicy, it's tender, but it's not falling off the bone. Wow. That is so juicy. It's perfect. Wow. Okay. Good, right? That's amazing. So this is what I was sneaking into my mouth earlier. <laughs> so good. So we also got a lot of sides here. The one I'm really excited about is the twice baked potato salad. Me too. This is really interesting. We're gonna I'm try a, this. I'm a side groupie. So I'm excited for this. Wow. That's really nice because it's fresh. So it's kind of balancing out with the heavy meats. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I'd like the oh, cilantro on top. That's really good. This is what we were talking about when we talked about Tyler's brisket being different than Kansas City brisket. Kansas City brisket's typically really thin. It's cut very thin, the fat's trimmed off. But look at this piece of brisket. It's thick cut, the fat's still on there, it's juicy, it's not dry. I don't need to cover it in sauce. This is what they're known for, right? The brisket? It's delicious. You can taste the meatiness in it because it's so thick. Absolutely. It's so good. I'm gonna go back to one of these pork belly yeah, burgers. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm a fan. All right, Swetha, so this is our third barbecue stop on our yeah. visit. Yes. So what did you like about Heart Barbecue? I just love the personality that Tyler had, first <laughs> off. He's a hardworking dude. He puts a lot of passion into his food. So, it, you know, everything's unique. His brisket's super thick. His ribs are very well seasoned. Twice baked potato salad, amazing. I mean, you guys, you can come to the Heart Barbecue order anything on the menu, you're not gonna be disappointed. I right. mean, the brisket's Agreed. juicy, the ribs are flavorful, the pork belly burn ends are amazing. Right. Overall, Tyler's really bringing a whole encompassing experience with his barbecue. You guys definitely get out here and give Tyler's barbecue a try. And uh, line out the door? Line out the line door. Out the door right? They just opened up and there's probably about an hour long wait, you guys, so get here early because barbecue They're does sell out. They're not even open yet, actually. They're not even They're open yet. The, look at this line, it's crazy. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get back to eating. Awesome, thank you guys. Ben, we have had quite the weekend. It's been a lot I'm of so barbecue. I'm so full, holy <laughs> crap. On top of eating all this delicious food, we also want to make sure that we're giving back to the community of Kansas City as a whole. Um, one of the ways that we're going to do that is that we're going to showcase different organizations, different charities throughout the Kansas City Metro, try to bring some light to them and help them with their cause. Um, so what's our charity this week? Harvesters. Harvesters. I've been partnered with Harvesters for the last few years and they're such a great organization. It's a food pantry here local mm -hmm. to Kansas City and they're helping just people and families that are in need of food. Overall, it's been a great experience these Agreed. last few days. Swetha, I can't wait for our next episode. I can't either. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and follow us on all our social media channels. Make sure that you guys know where we're at next and we'll keep you guys up to date.